Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm here unboxing the July Faith Art Box for Creative Retreat Kits. I am on their design team or creative team, and so you'll usually find me over on their blog and their YouTube channel, so I'll have those linked down below, um, as well as the other gals that are creating for the team. It is so awesome to head on over and check out just how we all have a unique take on the kits each month and the things that we pull out of the devotional content and our styles are all different, so I would encourage you to check out that blog and YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, Creative Retreat Kits comes out with a uh, kit every month and it's just nice little uh, concise uh, Bible journaling kit, but not just for Bible journaling. You could use this for uh, traveler's notebook style documenting or just in a regular notebook or planners or anything like that is nice um, smaller elements that will work for a variety of projects, um, including some card making you could do with the images and the stamps. So definitely head on over and check them out. And I got this a little bit early. I'm filming this right in the middle of June, but I could not wait to film this so that I could dig into the pieces and create with it. <laughs> so I needed to get the unboxing out of the way because I think this is hands down my absolute favorite kit from Creative Retreat Kits. It is so gorgeous. Um, if you'll remember last month's kit, it was this one here. Um, nice and fun and summery. I'm still working with this one, um, but this one is just beautiful. And so the the uh, devotional content is Bearing Good Fruit. It's written by Erin Davis, um, and you have some information about her um, here in the devotional content, which I really appreciate. And this is, of course, f uh, focusing on Galatians 5, 22 through 23, the fruits of the Spirit, which I'm sure a lot of us have worked through several times, but I love the approach of this devotional content. So it's not just focusing on those two verses and what they mean. She is kind of zooming out and taking a look at the context of these verses as Paul was writing these. And I think that is so amazing. I have mentioned in videos in, before, time and time again, how important it is to look at the content, to context of the verses that you're reading. Um, so often we cherry pick verses out and kind of apply them to um, whatever scenario that we were wanting. But it's so important to understand um, the, the where, the why, and the when, and the who of the writing of that verse. And so I really appreciate that she took um, this take on it. And so, so many of us may have already journaled this in our journaling Bibles, no worries. Um, I'm hoping to show some, um, maybe one video showing an idea on how to get around that with a tip in or something like that. So don't worry if you've already journaled this. Um, I would still encourage you to pick up this kit. One, because it is stinking adorable, um, but two, the devotional content's really good and it's a really good kind of take on these verses. So you've got her devotional content, you've got the verses here, and then there's also these four um, reflection, um, questions or prompts. So we're looking from Galatians 5, 13 all the way through 26. So we are going to look at a big chunk of scripture and the devotional content is short enough that you could work it all in one sitting. I work on it several times throughout the month and it's very interesting. Each time I come back to it, I pull something new out. Um, and so that is kind of fun. So you can maybe do it once a week, come and revisit it um, or every couple days or whatever works for you. That's the nice thing about these kits um, is there's not really a strict structure to how to work through it. And there are always colors that you can use with a variety of other projects. So once you've journaled, um, whatever you're gonna journal on the devotional content, you can still use the products for other projects. So um, the back of the devotional um, is a patterned cardstock usually and so once I finish the kit I can use this to punch out tabs or um, different shapes or create a mini book lots of different things and I usually use this as inspiration for one of the backgrounds of my pages and this is beautiful <laughs> it's so pretty and so fun I love the like chalkboard effect um, you could paint a page black and use white pigment ink um, and some acrylic paints or something like that to create something similar I just think this is beautiful I'm gonna have to figure out how to incorporate this into an entry because it's so pretty can you tell I'm obsessed, guys? I am loving this kit. Uh, you get two sheets of cardstock stickers. You usually get a sheet of um, alphas in some sort of shape. This month we've got circles and there are alphas and numerals and plenty of little hearts and punctuations. These are really fun. Um, and if you've been a collector of Creative Retreat kits for a while, you've got a variety of shapes. And so it's kind of fun to mix and match in your journaling with just standard tiles and um, alpha shapes 
shapes and there's been some hexagons and circles and all kinds of fun shapes and so it's kind of fun to mix and match. You also get a sheet of cardstock stickers that include a set of word fetty um, and these are usually things that tie in with the devotional content so of course we've got the fruits of the spirit which I love and um, then you've got the traditional creative retreat wonky hearts and circle hearts um, so those are lots of fun to play with. If you haven't seen past videos I usually like to add um, if I remember if I get a chance to do this before I dig in I add some uh, clear Nouveau crystal drops to these and make these um, dimensional sometimes I'm just too excited to dive in and I dive in before I remember to do this so that is an option and then you've got these really adorable little fruit stickers some greenery here um, some big bold words I love these um, circles these are fun to either add into your journaling or use as a tab and then you've got some flags and arrows um, really fun and these are a great um, cardstock quality and I don't have um, much of a problem with these adhering to my Bible page so you get those um, you also get a uh, three by four stamp set and this is so cute so you've got those fruits that we've seen throughout the kit um, you've got fruits and spirit so fruits of um, and then I'm sure we've had a the in past um, kits that you can mix and match. You've got goodness, patience, kindness, seeds grow. This big ampersand is really fun. Joy, peace. So I love this. And I love that these are pieces that you can use again and again and again, as well as the word like spirit, goodness, patience, kindness. These are words that you can use again and again. And um, like I've mentioned in other videos, you can pull out your past kits and kind of mix and match some of the words to create your own journaling. Um, and that's usually what I do. So you've got that. And these are really good, um, stiff quality of stamp. So even these teeny tiny little words, you get really good impressions with these stamps. Now, typically you get um, fabric bow clippies, um, but this month she changed things up. And so this month we've got the enamel shapes and I, love these i hoard them like crazy i think i've even got a few yep i've got some from past kits right here next to me you can see they're not unused because i don't like them they're unused because i don't want to use them up <laughs> but i do try to sprinkle them into some entries and so this month we've got a set their hearts and different size circles um, and colors that match the kit which is these fun oranges and yellows and reds and greens and pink um, and so those are really, really fun. And I have been able to pull these out and mix them in with my traveler's notebook um, process videos and other Bible journaling entries and things like that. So those are super fun. Um, so there is a look at the kit for the month of July. So head on over and get this ordered so you don't miss out and you can join in with us. I will have those links down below and stay tuned for process videos, um, most likely over on the Creative Retreat Kits YouTube channel. And then sometimes I bring them over here later on in the month so if you have any questions or comments be sure to leave those down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and until next time thank you so much bye bye